prophecy number two South Africa Nigerians in South Africa should be careful there's a killing plan massacre that will come only on Nigerians in South Africa another sonophobia will come and this one will be very bad we're going to pray for our president Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I saw people telling him to go and rest I saw a strange news that is not a good news and I saw the vice president of Nigeria becoming more popular whiskey there's a huge snake around you I want to pay serious attention to what this man of God has to say concerning our country, Nigeria. It is very serious. Please do me a favor, share this on social media platform, share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. Watch this I video. People I have good news for you. This revival you see will not be aborted. Prophecy number two: South Africa. Nigerians in South Africa should be careful there's a killing plan massacre that will come only on nigerians in south africa another sonophobia will come and this one will be very bad i want to advise people in nigeria who have brothers in south africa or sisters or family members to tell family members in south africa to be careful something is going to happen that will be very bad and i'm talking about south africa I'm seeing the coming election. The coming election in South Africa. The current party ruling the election would go through tough time during the election. But I saw the same party bringing the current president back. There's another president back to party. I mean, as a president. So we are going to pray for South Africa. God is going to help South African nation and it shall be well with them in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is actually original prophecy number two. Prophecy number three. There's going to be a major earthquake in Japan major earthquake in japan and before i talk about japan there are countries that will go through dangerous climate change there is a dangerous climate and global change going on you must be very careful some things will start appearing and affecting the atmosphere that will make people become sick we are going to pray for japan and pray for global changes and global warming or global climatic change is going to be very bad and people will act with asthma it will be a terrible year for them this year so let's pray for them so pray for japan i see earthquake let us pray for japan hallelujah something will happen to big brother niger tv program it will put a hold on the program something bad will be unveiled pray for the hosts and producers pray for the contestants something will happen to bbn big brother niger tv program it will put a hold on the program something bad will be unveiled pray for the host and producers pray for the contestants that's prophecy number three prophecy number four I'm gonna be picking the ones I have the ones that the Lord wants me to speak about I saw a heavy lawsuit being fired to Atiku we have a heavy lawsuit there's a heavy lawsuit and it will bring shame and disgrace 
it's not a good one it's a bad it's a corruption something that will be exposed it will be exposed number number five there will be more secret things discovered about the former central governor of central bank governor so much that will be so shocking that we involve international charges they will discover that the former central bank of nigeria deputy is it governor governor they would uncover a truth a secret that would be more than what they are investigating they would discover more hands in it and it will expose a secret dark mystery in the former presidency of nigeria that the former president of nigeria will be brought to question not just him but many people in that government many people in that government prophecy number six we're going to pray for our president Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I saw people telling him to go and rest I saw a strange news that is not a good news and I saw the vice president of Nigeria becoming more popular than the current president something is going to happen that will make the president to take a break but is this another break like Yaradua I saw what happened to Yaradua happening to the president of Nigeria pray for him hallelujah prophecy number seven I don't want to talk about this but I will talk about it whiskey there's a huge snake around you laying low but will bite you when you when the right time comes this will be the biggest news in Nigeria music history there's a snake around whiskey it's very friendly now the snake is not harmful now the snake will bite you when the time come if you are not careful this will be the biggest news in nigerian music industry it will shake the nigerian secular music and on him again pray what happened to Davido should not happen to you. However, someone whose time is up is about to go home. Do everything to be with him before he leaves. There's a man that is about to go. His time is up. I saw them declaring Donald Trump as the president of America and in the space of three months I saw him bringing America to a standstill but he will not rule America with a good health pray for Israel 
Israel will have more enemies this year. You see, when I'm talking about God's nation, I will be very more careful because it can only be God revealing to his prophets. Because anything that concerns the nation of God, you cannot say God said and God have not spoken. Because God can kill you for interrupting his plan. We are going to pray for the nation of Israel. Because Israel will have more enemies. There are three countries that have signed an agreement to wipe out Israel. They know they will fail, but they've discovered a tactics. They will consult how their ancestors failed in the past. They are going to introduce peace. They will destroy the country with peace language. And they will make Israel to fall into sin. They will introduce something to Israel. I saw Israel buying it, accepting it. The moment they accept it, I saw Israelites, not foreigners, I saw Israelites using knife to kill themselves the nation will turn against themselves inside is a plan pray for Israel the only way Israel falls is when they introduce sin to their house and let me say something to you sin to Israel is, is not what you ex what, what you can explain God knows his laws to them so pray for them. Hallelujah. That's prophecy number what? Huh? If we don't pray for Nigerian governors, another governor will die this year. And it will be so bad. Let's pray for the governors of Nigeria. But let's talk about the governor that just passed on. The governor family will go through some tension even after the burial. I saw them bringing out cases to court. They will not allow the family to rest because of that case. So they have to pray for them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Something is going to happen in Lagos that people will come out to protest. And I saw them burning tires. I saw them blocking the airports, the bridge, the roads. Something bad is going to happen that will make people to come out to protest that they are tired. That anything that wants to happen should happen and i saw military men not police military men coming out to stop this thing but they will fail to stop it and i saw military men joining them to protest something is going to happen it's not going to be funny we're going to pray amen Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I saw Nigerian gospel artists backsliding to sing to secular music. And I saw secular musicians singing gospel song in Nigeria. It will be strange. Please don't celebrate, don't celebrate prophecy. It's going to be very strange. And it will happen. One popular secular musician is going to repent from singing secular music. I saw him singing gospel music. And one popular gospel artist is going to shock everybody. It's going to shock everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. I will keep the remaining prayer.
prophecies and I would ask the Lord to give me direction to release it but I'm going to give you three prophecies three other prophecies that will be added to these ones that came recently these ones came since but these ones came recently hallelujah hallelujah please uh, Nollywood artist uh, Nollywood should pray for Mr. Ibu very well his loss will be the biggest loss in Nollywood they should pray for him and I'm going to send my prayers to him I'll find a way to reach out to him to pray for him I will find it out and we'll pray for him they should pray for him something is something is still not right with that man last year I heard that he was you know but something is still I saw where they had to touch another part again of his body that might take him so let's pray for him if you know what is good for Nollywood actors they should pray then the second one we should pray is that two major men of God in Nigeria will openly fight they will declare fight among themselves and many people will insult them on social media it's going to be very bad that they will go to the courts to fight they will sue themselves and there's going to be backlash against these pastors it's very very bad hallelujah and the church should pray for apostle johnson suleiman there's a strategic attack coming a very strategic attack is very bad it's very very bad before i give you this prophecy i've already prayed so i know what i'm telling you it's, it will come it's going to be on the news it's going to be on the news they, they are going to try to connect a murder case to him somebody died they will say he's the one is he guilty is he innocent but his name is going to trend this year but it will be for bad and i saw people saying you know what leave ministry for a while because the scandal is too much and i think it has got into that time the church members of omega has to pray for their father in the lord because when something becomes consistent and is a pattern you cannot say there is no truth in it I am not defending evil and I'm not defending good he's my he's my elder brother in the kingdom but a pattern something that has a pattern there's a hand in it so pray for him Apostle Johnson Suleiman is a very wonderful philanthropist I will not condemn him on my altar I'm speaking under the humility of heaven and I'm saying this for us to pray and I know some of their members might attack me online I understand but let us pray because it is not good for a man that is doing good for his good to be insulted and abused amen amen and even rumors gossip will start coming about his marriage people will start carrying rumor about divorce in his marriage you will hear a lot of things they see about him so pray for him he's a prophet yes i know but pray for him amen god is going to help him to finish what he started in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Something is going to happen in the sea. A big ship will just catch fire. The cause of it, nobody know. They will not find anybody inside. It will just catch fire. We're going to pray. Because once that sign comes out, there's an attack coming on a particular country. I'm, I'm going to keep this as a prophecy as, you know, these are parables. When it manifests, and I really want to charge my media men, this year you must do your best to keep everything on archive. As soon as the service is over, go and cut all the prophecies and start preparing them. Because there are things that need to be confirmed. Hallelujah. 
but there are some prophecies we pray that it is scattered in Jesus name Amen. we scatter it in Jesus name Amen. we scatter it in Jesus name Amen. hallelujah you see we are going to pray for the Catholic Church we are going to pray for them because it's a, it's a terrible thing it's a serious thing happening and I'm, we are hearing now openly some reverend fathers are now coming out to say they are gay it's a terrible thing. We've been hearing a lot of rumors, but it should not have happened in the church. Muslims are laughing at us now. What they call haram, they are mocking us now. Many of them are into it though. These Muslims, some of them, they are into it. Not some, many are into it. But they have been covering it. But something should not be mentioned in the church. Is a problem. The, the Pope doesn't speak for all the Christians. So he doesn't speak for the church. But that image is a dent. We are going to pray for the Catholic Church. Amen. Because people now who don't even have that spirit in them will start accepting it. Huh? It will not give license for people to do what they are, so they are not supposed to do. We are going to pray right now as we open, open your hands. Let's pray for the Catholic Church. Open your mouth and pray. Father, we pray. We pray for the Catholic Church. We pray for the Catholic Church. We pray for the Catholic Church. That you help the Catholic Church. Pray for the Catholic Church. for the Catholic Church. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let's pray for the families that lost their family members in Plato State Killing because I was instructed to pray about it. Unfortunately, the media didn't carry it far. Another one happened in Kaduna. There was an explosion, killing, and they said it was a mistake. And a lot of people died. I mean, this is... Somebody should be questioned for all these things. While we were celebrating Merry Christmas in Plato State, it was a black Christmas. Let's pray for those families. Open your mouth and pray for them right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. I'm sure that you have listened to everything the man of God has said. It is important that as we have listened to this message, as we have listened to this prophecy, as we have listened to this deep revelation, that we don't sit on it, that we don't sleep on it. We take massive action. The action that I want us to take is that we do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. I'm not going to be analyzing whatever he has said or whatever he has talked about in this video. I'm not going to be analyzing it because we already know what is happening in our country, Nigeria. We all know, you know, and I know. So uh, let us know, uh, we don't need anybody to tell us what is happening in the country as of now. And I'm not going to be looking deep into uh, everything you said or analyzing and talking. No, 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 no. What we need right now is that we do uh, to pray for our country, Nigeria. I want us to pray for our country, Nigeria. You see, this country, eh, I will always say, the country is not stagnated, though. The country is not stagnated at all. The country is moving backward. Had it been the country stagnated, I would say, oh, okay, we can manage it. Let us remain. We are Buhari dropped us. But this one, the country is busy going backward every day, every week, every month. The country has just been going backward because of what? Bad leadership and mismanagement. You see, some of the things that we pray about in this country, that is what uh, in other countries their government do for them. That is what some of the things we pray for, eh? they are the things our governments are supposed to be doing for us. Nigeria as a country is a blessed nation. You know that one. Nigeria is a blessed nation. But you see what is causing our major problem in this country? You see religion. You see tribalism. You see politics. 
these things they are killing at this country nigeria if Igbo man come Igbo man will say yoruba yoruba will come Igbo, yeah Igbo will come our Ar house will come this and that we keep disturbing ourselves we keep like causing problem amongst ourselves why can't we love one another forget about tribe forget about this forget about that why can't we do that why can't we do that we are hearing an Eastern will liberate Nigeria. This will happen. Biafra will do this. Biafra will do that. Odudua Republic will do this. Odudua Republic will not do that. Arewa will do this. Arewa will not do that. Why? Can't we at least for once eh, come together and fix this our country, Nigeria? Can't we do it? This person is saying, if my church goes to the uh, east, Biafra will come. If this one goes to the north, this will come. This will happen. That will happen. This will go. This everything we keep hearing in this country is there are things that for me is not going to help this country move forward if we want this country to move forward let first of all let us unite let us unite and fix this country together yes we are not going anywhere yes we are not going anywhere today we are hearing this tomorrow we are hearing this and the canon biafra this that 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 things that i don't think is going to help us move, move forward i have said it i i don't have an issue with anybody if you talk about Mazin and the canon personally if you have been following on this channel you will know that i am of the opinion that that man should be released me i don't know why they are holding him there i if you ask me why they are holding that man there i don't know I don't even think it is even what they are doing is even legal. I don't think they should be holding that man there. That is my own opinion. I might be wrong. And if I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section. I will learn. They should let the man go. They should let the man go. Yeah, I don't know all these things. Every time problem that will distract us from what we are supposed to achieve in this country will just arise. Different, different problem. They, we cannot focus on better things in this country. So please, I am begging us. Let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Because a lot is going on. A lot that you don't even know of uh, is going on. We, we have heard the other day, Dangote have come out to say that uh, uh, he gave, uh, uh, what do they uh, call it, Lagos State Government, $100 million for, the, for his land for the final. Nobody talked about that. If you have not watched the video, just listen to what Dangote said. Well, you know, whatever we do, uh, we add value. We are not a, uh, an assembly plant. You know, I mean, when I say assembly, we are not packaging plant. If you look at all our operations as Dangote, we actually add value. We take local raw materials and turn them into products and we sell. So, which means it's a circular economy which we are practicing. Uh, everything, you know, is here. Everything is in Nigeria. The farmers, the banks, or maybe the people in the mines, the banks, everything is about local. Uh, and it is the main reason why we were number two in flour milling, but we sold it because the wheat is being imported from abroad. So the more wheat we use, the more jobs we create out there. And that's why we cancel that. We remain only in sugar, salt, is not really a very big business so that's what we have done and now what are we doing what we are doing like what our group vice president mr like mentioned is that we said that yes you know we are always the first mover you know we always move first then other people will follow and we have never ever whether consciously or unconsciously stop anybody from doing the same business that we are doing uh you know to the contrary when you look at it when we first came into cement production uh it was actually only lafarge that was operating here in nigeria which is uh Iwekoro, and then the one in ashaka in bombay nobody ever called uh called uh, lafarge uh, you know monopoly but we then would say the first plant we set up was what five million tons that was the first one against less than two million of local production but we, when we got in there you know people now start say ah monopoly monopoly you know so and this is really very disheartening 
when people keep talking about all this monopoly, 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 you know, is this only when you stop people, you block them through legal means or whatever. No, it's a, you know, level playing field where whatever Dongote was given, okay, in cement, for example, okay, um, you know, other people too were given. In fact, some of them, maybe they even got more than us. Okay, we are always very, very careful. You heard what I said. In the refinery, we did not, and I repeat, we did not collect one single incentive from the federal government of Nigeria or from even the Lagos state of Nigeria. Yes, Lagos state, maybe they gave us a good deal, but we paid $100 million for the land. It wasn't a free land. We paid for it. Okay, uh, so people are always looking at the different, you know, other side. They are not really looking at the real picture. Okay, that's one. Number two, this country has been having petrol queues so that the majority of the population there with us. And so we are not discouraged. We will continue what we are doing. But you know, new, doing new business, like you know, which we announced this still, actually our own board has decided that no, we shouldn't do this still because if we do it, we will be called all sorts of names, monopoly. And then also imports will be encouraged. So we don't want to go into that. Let other Nigerians also go and do it because we are not the only Nigerians here. I'm sure that you're listening to that. These are some of the things we should, we should unite and be tackling. But who is going to ask them the question when they have used tribe and politics and religion to divide us? Who is going to hold them accountable? Nobody. They are going to hold themselves accountable. Nigeria is dying and going. Is, Nigeria is dying and going gradually. Dangote came out again that uh, uh, some people own a plant, a refinery, a mortar. Nobody is saying anything about it. That case gradually, gradually is fading away and it is dying away. If you have not, also know, if you have not watched the video, also listen to what Dangote said. Another complaint that I had, which I think uh, the right honourable deputy speaker also uh, raised with me, uh, you know, said, so, okay, why did we drop the price of uh, diesel when we started? We drop it from is it the bad quality we are producing or what? I said that no. Even at the 650 ppm and 700 p uh, ppm that we are producing was a better quality than what was, you know, imported. And I'm sure, Your Excellency, sir, most of you, you have problems with your vehicles. Either you have had or you are still having problems with your vehicles. It's because of the bad fuel that we are importing into the country. I still stand by what I said. Go to filling stations, you can pick up and you can check the quality. That's the only way. But all this one, somebody will bring in a sheep and say that, yes, this is the quality. Bring in fake certificate. This one, when we go ahead, we will say more. We'll say more in the sense that, uh, you know, uh, we know where they blend this in. Some of the terminals, some of the NMPC people and uh, some, you know, traders have opened uh, a blending plant somewhere of uh, Malta. We all know these areas. We know what they are doing. It's not that we don't know. You know, and really, um, like what I said, you know, I've been fighting all my life. Somebody now said, okay, ah, <clears throat> ah, Mr. Ngoti, I heard uh, that, you know, some people uh, came to your hotel to ask of your name, and you don't know who they are. They say, yes, they did. But look, I am a very, very fearless person. I believe so much in God, and I don't fear anybody. Uh, you know, they can do whatever that they want, you know, and... I am not scared. I will fight head on. It's not a uh, question of uh, this. You know, so uh, they can do whatever that they like. To the oil and gas industry, where the group chief executive officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Mr. Mele Kiari, says he does not own a blending plant in Malta. Mr. Kiari spoke earlier today in response to claims by Mr. Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest man, that officials of the NNPC operate an oil facility in Malta, an island country located in the central Mediterranean Sea. Apart from the NNPC personnel, uh, Mr. Dangote, who addressed the House of Representatives on July 22nd, also alleged that all traders and terminals have been opening, uh, have opened a blending plant in the island nation. Speaking in the post on the social media X, uh, Mr. Kiari said he's not aware of any NNPC employee that operates such plants in the country. He added that he was inundated by inquiries from friends and associates on the public declaration 
by the president of Dangote Group that some NPC workers have established a blending plant in Malta, thereby impeding procurement from local uh, production of petroleum products. An oil blending plant has no refining capability but can be used to blend, refine oil uh, with additives to create finished lubricant products. I'm sure that you listened though, you paid attention. It is not only Dangote that said it all. It is not only Dangote that came out to speak about that. Another young boy came out to speak about this same issue. That Dangote, uh, that Tinibu has a refinery and some NMPC people have a refinery a mortar we are the refine our, our oil and, and supply us where that is why petrol is very expensive listen to what this young man have to say just pay attention to what is happening in this our country nigeria or listen guys you will be shocked what i found out about the president of nigeria he is a shareholder and a board member himself and two other family members of a of a refinery in malta The problem they give it to Dangote is because they want that all of Nigerian crude, most of it anyway, a few percentage of it to be refined in Malta, in a private refinery where the president of Nigeria and a few members of his family are board members and shareholders. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. So they're refusing to give Dangote crude oil so they can send it to Malta where the president has shares in the refineries. I'm sure that you listen to what the young man have said though. I'm sure you pay serious attention. I'm letting you watch all these things here for you to understand that some of the things we are even fighting about, some of the things we are talking about, try did this, try did that, Biafra did it, Biafra did are not the things we should be talking about at this time. We should be fighting for to make this country a better place. People are suffering the country and they are using some certain things, political strategies to distract us, to make us not to talk about things we should be talking about. To make us talk about things that for me said I don't I don't know why we, we should even be bothering and worrying ourselves over them. I'm not saying they are not a uh, good thing, so but I'm saying that there are more pressing issues if we want this country to progress there are other things we need to be talking about if we want this country to move forward things are happening in this country things are happening our country gradually is dying nigeria is sinking nigeria is shaking nigeria is vibrating a lot is happening in the country the thing eh, if we talk about nigeria issue eh, we can talk from now to tomorrow Look at price of things now. Look at price of tomato. Look at price of onion. Look at price of pepper. Look at price of maggie. People can barely feed. If you hold 100 naira right now, it's like you don't have any money. It's like you don't have any money at all. What can you buy with it? My mother was telling me just yesterday that the small pot of soup she cooked, that we, that we are going to eat for just two days. I'm saying today, for just uh, that evening and tomorrow morning. That it is 10,000 naira in Nigeria. Go and buy meat. You small, see, small meat they will give you, especially in, in, in this part of Nigeria, in the south, south, and, and all the rest. Small meat for, for 2,000 naira. Where will you, how many pieces go on 2,000 naira? Small meat for 5,000. Go and look at what they are selling. One cup of rice is how much? One, one, one cup of garlic is how much? Before those days, if you are eating curry, say hey, he's a poor person, he's a poor person. But today, <laughs> if you are eating curry, you are rich because curry, a person of curry, eh, is close to thirty thousand now. Now I was jokingly telling somebody that if you want to carry curry and pass, you need security. Imagine those days now you see people carry trailer load of curry and be and be passing where they want to go and distribute. Oh, oh, some people be shouting, hey, high problem, high problem, high problem, high problem. Hey, you see plenty of curry. But now, nah, if I if people see you that plenty of curry, they might rob you as if you are carrying money. Because curry is that expensive. A person of curry close to 30,000 naira in our country, Nigeria. And nobody is talking about it. All we are interested in is politics. All we are interested in is Big Brother Niger. All we are interested in is, uh, uh, what, what do they call it? Just uh, Biafra did it. Biafra did not do this. 
We have pressing issues. Nobody is holding these politicians accountable. A protest was organized. What was the purpose of that protest? For to end bad government. For things to, to reduce. It's like after the protest, things skyrocketed. Fuel that was at eight, eight something went to 900. Now 1,000. In some part of Nigeria, they are selling for as, one, as high as 1,000 to 1,003. Nobody is talking about it. We are busy fighting one another on social media. We are busy talking about which kid is richer than this, that person is richer than this, David is this, this, David did that. Nigeria is dying. You are talking about people that have money. People that whether will let this country turn upside down, they will still be rich. They will still have money. They will be alright. They will be okay. Sometimes you I, I look at all these things, eh? It's like let me cry. We have been hearing people like uh, Pastor Ebukai will be talking about Nigeria, talking about Biafra, talking about this, talking about that. We have been hearing different men of God, Pastor Kingsley. We, we have been hearing him talk. We have been hearing uh, Pastor McMira giving prophecies. We have been hearing them talk. Different men of God. I can't finish mentioning their name. But the question I need you to I need to ask is that with everything they have been saying and with everything they are saying now, do you pray about them? Do you? Tell me, do you pray about them? Or is it just to sit at a place? Hey, this person have done this. That person have done this. This person have done this. That is all most of us just know how to do. Talking, talking, cha -cha 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 -cha. that is what most of us will know how to do. The energy we use in talking, the energy we use in battling our brothers, our sisters, our friends because of this country, Nigeria, we can actually put in that energy and be praying for this country, Nigeria. And I tell you that if we pray, God is going to answer. People like Joshua Igila, they have been talking. They have been saying, give Igbo man a chance, give an Eastern a chance. If these people have been marginalized, these people have not been marginalized. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Nothing has changed because we are just sitting down. We are just relaxed. Let us pray. As we have been hearing all these things, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. We cannot continue to sit and fold our hands and expect miracle to just happen like that. God will not come down and say Tinibu out. We need to position ourselves so when the time for us to, to do what we are supposed to do as humans come, we will be ready to do it. I am not exciting violence. I am not saying we should go and fight. I am saying that we need to be praying. It is only when we are praying that God is going to be able to touch these people and position the people that needs to be positioned for when they are needed. Let us be praying for our country, Nigeria. Let us be praying. The country is dying slowly. That if it's not already dead. A lot is happening in the country. People are hungry. People can barely feed. People are tired. People are running away from the country. Things are happening. Things are happening in the country. We look at all the prophecies we have been hearing from last year. 2023, we have been hearing scary prophecies. Still, nothing has changed in this country. The country keeps getting worse day by day, year by year, month by month. Early this year, Papa E. E. Adebo revealed to us that some top secrets are going to be exposed. And you have been hearing it. You have, been, you have heard everything Dangote have been, have been saying. You have heard some of the things that have been exposed already. You have been hearing it yourself. He said it. That this country, top secrets are going to be exposed. Things are going to be happening. If you have not watched that video by... by um, Pastor E. Adeboye, just listen to what he said. Pay serious attention to what he has to say. You can write this in capital letters. The wind is blowing. And so you should include in your prayer that the wind will blow you, you good. Hmm. Because the wind is blowing. It's already blowing. You, you can't stop the wind. As far as Nigeria is concerned, my beloved children, things will get worse before it gets better. Mark my word. That's what Daddy says. 
We are already complaining that things are hot. Huh? The good news is the wind is already blowing. As it's going to get a bit hotter before it begins to cool down. That's what Daddy told me. Oh, that's not what I want to tell. That's not what I would love to hear. And that's what he said. It will get worse before it gets better. Talking about Nigeria. Because the wind is blowing, some serious secrets will come to the open. <laughs> you know, the elders have a proverb. If the wind blows, you will see the anus of the chicken. I'm sure you have listened to everything Pastor E. Adebo have said. I'm sure you paid attention to what he said. He's not the only one though, that have said uh, something like that. Though. Another pastor mentioned also that some secrets will be exposed. Thank God that we are seeing it. Some secrets have been exposed, but what are we doing about those secrets that have been exposed? The pastor did not just say that uh, some secrets, he said that even that the military is going to take over. That the military is going to take over. Just listen. Just listen. Listen to what this uh, pastor has to say. The cry of Nigerians has come to the table of God. Yeah. Something is about to happen. There are secrets that will be revealed in Nigeria. And those secrets are high profile secrets. According to the Holy Spirit of Truth, those secrets is a secret that will expose the sitting government. So says the Holy Spirit. And God says, now there is something that is going on. The military has sit down. They have got to meet in two times. If they don't see changes, Nigeria will go back to military room. Right to let's sit down. They are having meetings, the military. The military has got a meeting two times. They want things to change. And if it does not change, they will come in by force. So says the Holy Spirit. God is working. I said, God is working. I'm sure that you have listened though. These videos I'm playing for us, eh, it's not so... Uh, uh, we we'll say, oh, this, that, that, we we'll start talking. I know the way some of us will usually talk now. I am bringing it to us so that we know that pastors have been speaking, prophets have been prophesying, people have been revealing things to us, but we are really not doing anything about it, about them. We are really not doing anything about them. This pastor that said that military is going to take over, military is going to step in, military are planning to take over. He's not the only one who, Major Prophet Elijah also mentioned that some military men are, are meeting, plotting and planning to take over power. Let me not waste your time, just listening also to what he said concerning that. I am seeing what's called five men standing right away in the Krinkum meeting. Mandeku Parada, Rekotosi Kaparatakata, Two from the mid belt, one from the core north, not Flanny, core north, and one from Yoruba land, and the other one from within the Midwest. When you say Midwest, you are talking about Bini, uh, 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 you are talking about a, a, a dusted part, and also what's called the Delta part. And I see these five men stood in a special meeting, and they said, How do we rescue Nigeria from the hands of the people who call themselves politicians? I'm sure you have listened. The reason I, I brought it is so that you know that it is not only him that said it. Now the same military is coming. I've been hearing some people saying, uh, Let military come, let this happen, let that happen, let that happen. But I've been saying, If you have not watched my video, try and go and, 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 go and check out that video. We need to be that is the type of prophecy that some of us will respond to far far. Yes, let me need to come. Yes, let me need to take over. See, mm -mm, that is not what we need though. I have been saying it. Be careful of what you wish for. 
be careful of what you wish for nigeria is not good but yes let's for now manage the democracy we have even though that the democracy is them is not democracy <laughs> what am i even saying sorry don't mind me that i'm laughing that that one was that was actually funny to me so the democracy we are seeing right now is actually not what we want it's actually not the type of democracy we we, we pray for because things are hard in the country they tell you you have freedom of speech but like india me said there is no freedom after speech and you see that in even in now you can actually talk a little but you see if military steps in as you want <laughs> you will not be able to talk you will not be able to say anything at all you will not be able to do anything so it is important for us to pray instead of us to sit down and be wishing that these negative negative things should be happening in our country nigeria we can actually pray sit down and pray for our country nigeria we can actually sit down and pray prayer is important we need to be praying for this country nigeria pray oh, pray we need to be praying because we cannot continue like this we cannot continue like this at all if you can continue like that me i cannot continue like that i am tired i am tired of uh, working hard getting the little money spending it on food spending it on food you can barely you can barely feed in this country people that feed that are either used to feed three times a day right now are struggling to feed for even worse but we are not talking about it we are not talking about it our problem we are just going after minor minor things things that for me don't make sense David did this so whiskey have done this so Jeremiah the matter of if you have done this so very dark one have done this so come on come on we need to we need to do better if we want to really actually take back our country like we want to put this country in order we need to focus on things that matter let us major on the major things and let us stop majoring on minor things and minoring on major things i don't know if i if that's correct but we are majoring on minor things too much please i am begging all that will do well to pray for our country nigeria let us pray for nigeria i know that anytime some of you hears it me hear me saying pray for nigeria you want to crucify me but if you want to crucify me because of this please do crucify me because i cannot tell you to go and fight i cannot tell you to go and destroy government properties that they will still use you and ice money to repair but i can tell you to pray i can tell you to intercede for this country eh? beloved of god pray for this country nigeria and we have tried everything we have tried protests we have tried this we have tried that let us try god let us call unto god he said call unto me all ye that carry heavy bodies he said and i will give you rest some may trust in chariots others and horses david said but i i am going to trust in the name of the lord Do you know why because the name of the lord is a strong power he said that the righteous run into it and they are saved i don't want to know the religion you belong to or oh, i just want you to pray whether you can pray in english or not pray in your language god will hear you let us come together and pray for our country nigeria nigeria is dying nigeria needs you nigeria needs me nigeria needs prayer let us pray for nigeria the country there is massive potential in it the country can be great you see this country nigeria has all it takes to become one of the greatest nations on earth it has it all we are super blessed i'm telling you this country is super blessed but we need to come together as one work as one unite as one people and fix this our country nigeria let us pray i'm making the arrangement so i will come in life here so that we can pray together for our country nigeria because we need prayer we need prayer we have tried everything let us try god for once let us try him and see the outcome let us try him so please i am begging us as you go to bed as you pray for yourself pray for nigeria when you wake up in the morning as you pray for yourself pray for nigeria because one word or the other keep saying it not even one word or the other whatever affects nigeria will also affect you if dollar goes up it will affect you 
if Naira comes, the dollar comes down, it will affect you. Whatever affects Nigeria affects you because you are in Nigeria. You are a Nigerian. So it's, it is important for us to pray for our country in Nigeria. And as we do so, I know that God is going to meet us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do have to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. So I post another video even if I Turn on subscriber. I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you in the name of Jesus. When you call for one, may millions answer in the name of Jesus. Please do me a favor. Share the video on our social media platform. Share with your friends and love them. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next one. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.